happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Good evening, everyone. And happy and blessed Thanksgiving to every family. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Salamat sa presensya mo, Panginoon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once again, we are gathered together in the presence of God. Gathered together. Hallelujah. In the name of our Lord. Hallelujah. And thank you for the promise of God that when we gather in His name, Hallelujah. He is in our midst. And tonight, we know and we know and we know every time that we gather together. Hallelujah. God never fail to meet us. God never fail to do marvelous works in the hearts of His people every time that we gather together in His name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Sige po, um, bago po tayo magsimula, tayo muna tayo ay mag-praise and worship sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you so much for this day. And we remember, Lord, sa lahat ng ginawa mo, Lord, everything that you have done, we remember, oh God. Hallelujah, Lord. And we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And may our thanksgiving, oh God, hindi lang nangyayari, Panginoon, every time there's Thanksgiving Day. But for us, Lord, Thanksgiving is every day. Hallelujah. We are filled, oh God, with gratitude, oh God, for all the things that you have done in our lives. Hallelujah, Lord. We praise you. We magnify your name. And truly, there is none like our God. Hallelujah. Let's sing this song together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Him. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Him. Sing it. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Him. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Him. I search around, here and there. Look around, here and there. I turn around, here and there. There's no one, there's no one like Him. Sing it, church! There's no one, there's no one but Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Him. There's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Him. I look around here and there. I search around here and there. I turn around here and there. There's no one, there's no one like Him. I look around here and there. I search around, search around. Here and there, I turn around. Here and there, there's no one, there's no one like him. Sing it one more time. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like him. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like him. One more time. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Him. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Him. Look around, I look around here and there. I search around here and there. I turn around. There's no one, there's no one like Him. I look around, I look around, here and there. I search around, here and there. I turn around, here and there. There's no one, there's no one like Him. 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 There
There's no one like Him. One more time. There's no one left, no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Him. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Him. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We look around. We search around. Hallelujah. There is none like our God. Hallelujah. Happy Thanksgiving po ulit sa lahat. Hallelujah. And tonight, we will be reading um, from Psalm 103. Psalm 103. Uh, sabi po ng mga uh, uh, Bible scholars and Bible students, perhaps the most perfect song of pure praise is found in uh, Psalm 103. Hallelujah. So we're going to read it together. Uh, it is a song from a heart bursting with gratitude. Hallelujah. So Psalm 103 is a so- Psalm of David. I'm, I'm going to read uh, <coughs> the whole Psalm. From, uh, this is Psalm 103. I'm reading from the NIV. It says, Praise the Lord of my soul. All my inmost being praise His holy name. Praise the Lord of my soul and forget not all His benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Who redeems you from light, uh, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Who satisfy, who satisfies your desire with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse us or uh, sa ibang uh, translations sa verse 6, as a verse 9, sabi doon, he will not always contend with us, nor he will harbor his anger forever. Verse 10, he does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east from the west, so far as he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. He flourishes like a flower of the field. The wind blows over it and it's gone. And its place remembers it no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him and his righteousness with their children's children. With those who keep his covenant, and remember to obey his precepts. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Praise the Lord, you, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who obey his word. Praise the Lord, all his heavenly hosts, you servants who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his works, everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Hallelujah. So we simply title the message of God to us today. For us today. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Or praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's pray first. Lord, thank you so much. Indeed, O oh God, we are uh, in thanksgiving, Lord, for we remember, Lord, all the things you have done in our lives. Thank you, Lord. Although we don't deserve mercy, although we don't deserve grace, you have given it so freely, O oh God, and so abundantly, O oh God. That's why, O oh God, hallelujah, we praise you and we magnify your name. And tonight, God, we ask for the Holy Spirit. God, be within our midst tonight. Lord, speak to us tonight. Let your word be preached tonight. Lord, let this word that we're going to study tonight, Lord, will 
on, not only be heard by our, our ears, Lord, let it penetrate our hearts. Jesus, we thank you for your presence tonight. Thank you, Lord, for the marvelous work that you are going to do in our midst tonight. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So, praise the Lord. Masaya pala ang ano, no, mag magkantahan sa ukulele. <laughs> so, I brought my ukulele today. Anyway po, um, as I uh, stated a while ago, um, perhaps the pure, sabi ng mga uh, dalubhasa or the experts, and the st a student, Bible students, well, is the one of the, uh, the most perfect song of pure praise is uh, uh, perhaps is Psalm 103. So uh, it's good to repeat and repeat it, Lord, uh, you know, <clears throat> reading it and be a reminder for us. Hallelujah. It is a song of David, a song of uh, a heart filled with gratitude. And hopefully tonight, Paul, we will also have the same heart. <laughs> to bless the Lord, to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. With, uh, with everything we have. Hallelujah. So verse 1, it says, Praise the Lord, O my soul. All my inmost being, praise His holy name. In some other translation, it says bless. The word bless is uh, to kneel or to praise. To bow down before the Lord. So hindi lang po siya, is it to to praise is not just to sing a song to the Lord, but it's truly <clears throat> to surrender, amen, to kneel before God and to, to exalt His holy name for He is worthy. Hallelujah. And David, it's, and David, uh, if, you, if, you, if you see uh, the wordings of David, he's calling every inch of his being to worship the Lord, to praise the Lord, amen. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. All my inmost being praise His holy name. Um, soul, uh, we know it is the uh, the immaterial essence, the animating principle, the spiritual embodied in human beings. Sabi ni uh, ng, ng uh, dictionary po ano? uh, uh, It also means a person's total self. So it's uh, when 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 David. Um, wrote this song for the Lord, he is calling for every inch of his being to magnify uh, the, the holy name of God, to praise God's name, hallelujah. And, and, and he said uh, to praise his holy name. You know, the word holy is being, uh, be, the word holy means apart or sacred, se being separate. It's the separateness of God. Kumbaga po, there is no other like our God. He is above all. Walang kapareha si Lord. So he's, David is kind of like saying, I want to praise the Lord who is above all. He is, he's holy, He's righteous, He's perfect, and He alone is worthy to, to receive uh, the, the, the adoration of my heart, my inmost being. God alone, hallelujah, deserves that. Amen. And uh, I, I believe similar to that is when Paul said, kung, nat, kung, kung natanggap mo yung mercy ni Lord, no? Um, like Romans chapter 12, if you remember, in, in view of God's mercy, um, we, we offer yourselves as a living sacrifice before the Lord, uh, holy and acceptable unto God. Hallelujah. So, praise His holy name, a picture of true worship. And, amen, hallelujah. And verse 2, it says, Praise um, praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. So, praise is not uh, just, um, um, it's not just emotional, but it's also rational, amen? There's a reason why we praise God. And the first thing that um, we, it, 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 David said, Praise the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits. In other translation, po sabi doon, uh, in, I believe this is NASB, it says, Bless the Lord of my soul and do not forget any of his benefits. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's a, it's a call to worship the Lord and remember everything that God has done. Kasi delikado, I believe po, delikado ang nakakalimot. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
because uh, I remember in Deuteronomy chapter 6 when, when, when Moses told the Israelites, when you go into the promised land and you, 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 will, you will live in the house you did not build, you will um, uh, take water from the well you did not dig up, and when your belly is full, be careful because you might forget. Right? Mm -hmm. So, delicado po palang nakakalimot. Amen? And that's why David, I believe David, hallelujah. And that's why David said this. And I believe it's also for us today. Lord, help us not to forget all the benefits. Kasi, alam mo kapatid, in our relationship with the Lord, everything is for our benefit. It doesn't benefit God. Anything. Amen? But we benefit any, everything when we come into a relationship with the Lord, tayo po ang nagbe-benefit. O di naman nakaka-add kay Lord yung, yung uh, relationship natin sa Kanya. Yeah. Amen? But it is for our benefit. So it is, uh, it is just fitting to be reminded. Do not forget all that the Lord has given us. All His benefits. Do not even forget even one. Amen? Kasi sabi doon, no? Oh, <clears throat> do not forget any of his benefits. In other translation, it says, um, May I never forget. Sa, sa NLT, sabi, you know, May I never forget the good thing he does for me. And this is, especially in our time, mga kapatid, today. When we, look, when we look at the situation in the world, when we look at the situation around us, um, everything is good. <laughs> amen. Madali kang um, uh, makadepress. Amen. But when, when you see and when you behold the Lord and remember everything He does and everything He He is doing in our lives. Hallelujah. Uh, I believe po, matulad tayo kay David, to bless his name to worship him and to praise him hallelujah with everything we have yeah. and, and 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 david listed some of uh, and all the I believe the, um, uh, reasons why we should praise the lord and in verse 3 to 5 it says let's read from verse 2 again it says uh, praise the lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your sins and heals your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Uh, grabe, yung, grabe yung ginawa ni David, ano? It's his, his recounting. Maganda pala bilangin. Well, it's good to count the blessing. Uh, I think there is one song na naalala ko noon. I... I I hope I could still remember the, the lyrics. Uh, count the blessing of the Lord. Count the blessing of God and name them one by one. The, the more we, we count the blessing of God, the more we, uh, our hearts is being filled with gratitude. I, think, I believe that's what happened with David here. He remembers what the Lord has done. Unang una po sinabi ni David, um, Praise the Lord for what? For all, the Lord forgives all. Hindi lang some. He, he forgives all our sins. In, in um, he, Our iniquities, our guilt, He pardons all of them. Amen? When we fully under, alam niyo po kapatid, when we fully understand the magnitude of our sin and the righteousness of God, and we see what the Lord has done to forgive us and to wipe all of our sins away, we will end up praising Him with everything we have. Especially po, uh, perhaps this is one of the forgotten thing in the church. Um, many churches right now, kapatid, <clears throat> wala na yung uh, alalahanin ang ginawa ng Lord for for uh, for for what he has done for us. Amen. And but it's 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 a fitting reminder lalo po ngayon ano, uh, Thanksgiving week. Amen. Um the first thing to remember, sabi ni David, 
the first thing he remembered, the Lord forgives all our sins. And if we re truly remember, if truly understand, gaano kalaki, gaano kadumi ang kasalanan, at gaano kalinis ang Panginoon, we will, and we will see that for His forgiveness is the greatest reason to praise Him. Amen? How many can say amen to that? Hallelujah! Lord, that yung dumidumi ko, hinugasan mo ako, Lord, perfectly, completely. Hallelujah! All of our sins are been forgiven by the Lord. Kaya, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing to remember this every day. Amen? Pangalawa, sabi ni, sabi ni David, not just He forgave all our sins, He heals all our diseases. Amen? And, and look, at, look at the finality of the, the wordings here. Hindi lang forgive some, He forgives all. He forgives all. And He heals all. I believe David is speaking here not just physical healing. All physical healing is from the Lord. We know that. Amen? Supernatural and natural healing comes from the Lord. Even the medicine that we take, galing din kay Lord yan. Amen? Um, it might have been uh, discovered by man, but it has already been prepared by God. Amen? That uh, Imagine that that and. The remedies for our sickness, ayon hinanda na ni Lord in even in in when He created the world. Hallelujah! It's by design. Hallelujah! And He so temporary healing comes from the Lord, but the best healing po is the ultimate healing. Amen. Is Isaiah fifty three says we by His stripes we are healed. Amen. Tapos na. By His stripes, we are healed. Kaya sabi ko, Lord, ang sarap. Parang gunitain, Panginoon. Hallelujah. We forgive our sins and you heal our diseases. Amen. He, the ultimate healing is from the Lord. How many are grateful for that? Amen. Nang binigay ni, na sa atin ni Lord in not just temporary healing. Lord, thank you for the temporary healing. Masakit ang ulo na, we have sickness today, we can drink medicine, we are healed. Amen? Mayroong supernatural healing din that the Lord truly uh, healed miraculously. God can do that too. Uh, but still, those are um, temporary healing. But the, most, the best of all is God gives us the ultimate healing. Amen? <coughs> when we go home to the Lord... Wala nang sakit, wala nang karamdaman, there's no more sickness, there's no more sorrow, cancer is gone, um, at arthritis is done, high blood pressure, wala na lahat. Hallelujah. Boys, best of all is that our relationship with God is healed. We are being um, reconciled with the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So, verse 3 says, He forgives all our sins and heals our diseases. Verse 4 says, He redeems us from the life of destruction. Uh, he redeems us from life. Uh, in the NIV, says, He redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. <laughs> Grabe, no? The word redeem here is... Uh, 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 means yung parang redeemed by a kinsman. To be redeemed by uh, a kinsman redeemer. Right? Uh, parang yung ginawa ni Boaz kay Ruth. Binili ni uh, Ruth. Tinubos. Tinubos. Ruth without Boaz is, uh, lalo pa sa panahon noon, ano, when you are a widow, you have no hope. You, have no, <coughs> you are financially Hindi lang financially, your security is gone, right? But he was being redeemed by Boaz. So imagine, parang tayo rin, amen? We are hopeless without God, but we are redeemed, hallelujah, by the blood of the Lamb. And hindi lang po tayo ni-redeem ni Lord, He crowned us with His love and compassion. Biro mo yun, kapatid. 
ang ibinigay. Hindi lang tayo tinubos ni Lord from sin, but He also, uh, uh, He showered us with abundance of His love and His compassion and His mercy. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, ano na yun po? He forgives our sins, heals our diseases, redeems us from the pit, crowns with love and compassion. Alam mo sa apat na yun, apat na ba yun? Right? I think I, I mentioned four. Forgive our sins, heals our diseases, redeem your, your life from the pit, and crowns you with love and compassion. I think yun palang, yung una palang, it's enough to praise the Lord. But oh, the Lord, uh, uh, David listed, hallelujah, um, an awesome reminder. Uh, you know, he reminds himself too, where he reminds us of also of this. Amen. That we are we are forgiven, um, we are healed, he, we are redeemed, and crowned with his compassion and love. And obviously, po, the result of that is he satisfies. Only the Lord can truly satisfy. Amen. In verse 7, it says, uh, uh, verse 5, it says, Who satisfies your desire with good things so that your, 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 your youth is renewed? Like the eagles, hallelujah. The emptiness of man can only be satisfied by the presence of God. Hallelujah. Uh, when we live our lives in, in, in surrender like David, bless, uh, giving his everything to God, sabi po nang, sabi doon, he satisfies um, the desires, our desires with good things. Hindi lang isa din sinatis tingnan natin ano because the Lord satisfies us with good things ang binibigay ni Lord sa atin ay good things hindi yung things na napapa uh, napapalayo tayo sa kanya amen He gives us good things hallelujah and, and which is uh, good for us and perfect for us hallelujah and the emptiness of man can only be satisfied by the presence of God in other words <coughs> A believer whose life is in the Lord is, is satisfied in His presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can be filled. Alam mo po, we can be filled with things of the world, but none can satisfy the very longing of our hearts but God alone. And dami na po, um, there are many who have all the things in the world, but never satisfy. I remember uh, when... Uh, uh, Rocky Feller, uh, John, John Rocky Feller, I believe his name, uh, that si John Rocky Feller, but one of the Rocky Fellers uh, was the first, I believe he won, he was one of the first billionaires in the United States. Uh, he was interviewed and sabi sa kanya, Sir, you already have so much. Uh, what do you want more? What do you want? Um, what, can you add something to what you have? He said, maybe a little bit more. Grabe, no? <laughs> Ibig sabihin, with all of the billions that he have, hindi siya satisfied. It's because naturally, the man, man's heart, our, there, can only be satisfied by the presence of God. That's why I believe a believer who truly surrendered his life to the Lord is the most satisfied because he receives more than more than the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Pagkasama-sama man yung kayamanan sa mundo, nothing can, um, tawag dyan, nothing can, uh, walang makakapantay. Makapantay sa? Equal. No, nothing can equal. Thank you, honey. Kut <coughs> ko lang. Amen. Nothing can satisfy. Nothing can equal. Hallelujah. What the Lord can give. His presence. Yung nagagandahan na, no? Kasi binigay sa atin ni Lord is Himself. Nothing can compare. Hallelujah. Nothing can compare. Thank you, honey. Nothing can compare. Because what He gives is Himself. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and uh, when, when, when that happens, mga kapatid, it's just natural mm -hmm. that you will fly like an eagle. Amen? When, when you know that the, parang He is Bagayong sa awitin pa. He is the wind beneath my wings. God carries us in His presence. Hallelujah. 
Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's why anyone who waits upon the Lord will renew their strength. He will run, he, he will, but not weary. He will walk and not get tired. Amen. He will fly like an eagle. Sa isabi nga, no? Hallelujah. Sa Isaiah chapter 40. E nasa na po ba ako? So verse 6. The Lord works righteousness and justice. Uh, verse 6 and 7, basahin mo natin. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made known His ways to Moses, His dead deeds to the people of Israel. To, the Lord executes, no? Isa sa, uh, sabi po doon, the Lord performs righteous deeds or He executes His righteousness and judgment. Amen? Um, well, there is nothing hidden in the eyes of God. Um, there are things that are hidden uh, in our in our justice system. Hindi, hindi na susolve lahat ng crime. But that in the justice of God, everything will 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 face the judgment of God. Hallelujah. In the end, wala pong makakalusot sa Panginoon. Amen. And walang makakalusot kay Lord because He made known His ways to all people. Not, lang, not just to Moses and not just to all Israelites, but He made His ways known to to the to to all men amen he's in in romans uh i believe it's in romans to i believe it was in notes ko romans 2 verse 12 <clears throat> to 16 masahin ko po now when the gentiles sin they will be destroyed even though they never had god's written law and the jews who have God's law will be judged by the by the law when they fail to obey it. For merely listening to the law doesn't make us right. It is obeying the law that makes us right. Nasaan ba yung... Okay. Mali yata yung ano ko. Yung notes ko. Amen. But we know po that God's law is written... Oh, verse 15. God's law is written in their hearts. For their own conscience and thoughts, either accuse them or tell them they are doing what they are doing is right. Amen. The law of God is already written in the hearts of men. He way he made his ways known, and that's why po uh, his, he will execute judgment. He will he will he will execute his justice for all the oppressed. Hallelujah. And verse eight to ten it says, "The Lord is compassionate." Let's read that. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse us or contend with us, nor will He harbor His anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. Tingnan niyo po yun ano. Um, this... Um, it says that he does itong napakaganda no because he said that he the lord is compassionate how many are grateful to that amen the, the lord is compassionate and gracious slow to anger and abounding in love it is true that um truly po ang panginoon lamang grabe si lord magmahal his his mercy is in everlasting his grace Hallelujah is new every day. Ang grace po ng tao hindi ganoon ano po. Our grace is mayroong uh, limited edition. May expiration date. <laughs> but his grace his love endures forever. Hallelujah. And <clears throat> and, and and in verse uh, in verse verse 10 it says he does not treat, treat us as our sin deserve. Na, 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 grabe po ng mga kapatid, ano? He does not treat us He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. How many are grateful for that mercy and grace na galing sa Panginoon? If, if we look at the law ng Panginoon, it truly condemn na. Amen? Wala na. But because of His mercy and abounding love, His grace is, is poured out to every human being. Hallelujah. Hindi niya, kaya, kaya nga, um, 
dito sa psalm na ito makita natin, we remember what the Lord has done and do not forget the benefits of that. But we also remember what the Lord did not do. Amen? Maganda rin palang uh, gunitain yun. Na hindi niya, uh, He did not do what we deserve, supposedly, which is judgment. Amen? He did not, <laughs> He would, Hallelujah, He withheld His judgment. Hallelujah. He did not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. So, kasama rin pala ito, kapatid, sa benefits. So, we remember what the Lord has done. His goodness, His mercy, His love, His healing, His redemption. But we also remember the other side. We remember what He did not do. He did not judge us. He did not condemn us. But He gave His mercy and love. Hallelujah. Oh, kaya, pala, kaya pala ganito na lang katindi magpuri si David. Amen? Hallelujah. <coughs> And in verse 11, is the, it describes how compassionate and gracious and merciful and loving God is. So that's the verse, the verse 8 sabi po, di ba? The Lord is compassionate and gracious, should slow to anger, abounding in love. How? How did he do that? How great is the mercy of God? Verse 11. Okay, oh, nga I, I'm grateful for uh, our pastors, Pastor Alex and Pastor Ray lagi nagre-remind sa atin that the even in one dyan, sa isang chapter lang ano, the explanation or the 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 um the commentary, the best commentary of the scripture, the scripture. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 11. For as high as the heaven are above the earth. So great is His love for those who fear Him. Amen? How does the, how, how, it describes how compassionate and gracious and merciful and loving God is. Gaano? As high as the heaven. As, from, as, sandali, <clears throat> for as high as the heavens are above the earth. So great is His love for those who fear Him. Hallelujah. This love is okay. First and foremost, pansit po natin, no? That to those who fear Him, to those who enter into that relationship, to those who bow down to the Lord and surrender their life to the Lord. Ito ang pangako ng Panginoon. Ganon katindi ang pagmamahal ni Lord. That's how great is the love and mercy of God. As high as the heavens are above the earth. And we don't, hindi ko alam kung ano ibig sabihin ni, ni, ni David dito when he said heavens. At sinabi lang ba niya bang heavens, yung nakikita natin blue sky, that's also part of heaven. But above that is still heaven. The heavenly, the heavenly stars and, ang tawag dyan? Um, uh, the galaxies. <laughs> kaya, kaya nga sabi ko, Lord, kung isama namin yun talagang, wow. I believe David, uh, also mean that, right? They are high as the heavens are from the earth. Ganon katindi ang pagla, ang pag-ibig ni Lord. That's why David, that's, no wonder David, as, as this is being revealed in the heart of David, no wonder his command, he commands himself, praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Amen. And when I read that, kapatid, also, it reminds me to oh nga, Lord. Wow. Oh God, if we just re, if we just being, re, just be, if we just remind, be reminded, oh God, of, of your mercy and your love, oh God, as, as high as the heavens are from the earth, so great is His love for us. Hallelujah. <clears throat> and verse uh, 12 also is. <clears throat> Verse 12, it says, As far as the east is from the west, so far as He removed our transgression from us. So verse 10, kung naalala sa, sa verse 10, He does not treat us as our sins deserve. Amen? As He did not repay us according to our iniquities. This also explains to us how great is that um, great and, and, and yung, yung mercy ni Lord sa atin. Amen? Verse 12, it says, As far, as far as the east is from the west. 
so far he removed our transgression from us oh my lord amen kung kung if we if we put a line mga kapatid um going as east to west ganun daw kalayo pinaghiwalay itinanggal inalis ng panginoon ang ating mga kasalanan he took away our sin and that's how far it is he removed all our iniquities as far as the east as from the west the east and west will never meet again amen kaya ganun wow it it it, it really gives us the 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 completeness of god's um uh, compa- uh forgiveness amen that he removed our transgressions from us it's as far as from east and to the west No wonder David is saying to himself, Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Hallelujah. And in verse 13, As a father has compassion to his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. Hallelujah. Kung, kung, kung tayo nga, if, if the father has compassion to a child, how much more God? Amen. And even if a mother forget, the Lord never forget us. Hallelujah. Um, the compassion of God is everlasting. Hallelujah. And it, in verse 14 to 16, uh, it, it's, it, it gives us the view of how, how nothing, how in view of God's everlasting mercy and His, His plans for us, His mercy to us, how nothing life is. Amen. The life of a man is I compare mo yung uh, uh, because it says here you know let's read it first R- verse 14 to 16 for he knows how we are formed alam ni lord siya ang gumawa sa atin he remembers that we are ju- we are dust as for man his days are like grass he flourishes he flourishes like a flower of the field the wind blows over it and it is gone and its place remembers no more Hallelujah. Amen. The the you, you see the nothingness of of life in mga kapatid and <clears throat> Lord help us to re- remember this kasi we how often we forget that all every every you count all the 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 achievement of man is just like a flower. Amen. In the field here today gone tomorrow ganun lang. Amen. And it's it's so um nakaka- how, how can I say it in English? Nakakahulog minsan nakakalimutan natin 'yon, no? Amazing. It's amazingly it's amazing that we can forget so easily <coughs> that all of the achievement of man kahit sino ka pang pinakamayaman ka ngayon. Amen. Ah, it's just like a flower in the field. Here today and gone tomorrow. And in it, it, it doesn't even, even the place where it used to bloom, it even forget. Ganun ka, um, how, how nothing is life without God. Hallelujah. That's why David, uh, when David wrote this, um, some um, Bible, Bible scholars and Bible commentarians said that he probably wrote this during the the senior years of his life because nakita natin yung depth, depth, huh? the deepness of, of his understanding of God's mercy and love for him that it's probably in the, in, in the later years of his life so that means he's already king he was already successful amen uh, he, he already have the power uh, as king but yet he remembers how nothing His life is without God. And that's why we need to remember. I need to remember this. We all need to remember this. Amen. Lord, lalong pati to sa America, amen. We are, uh, um, bato-bato sa langit, lahat po tayo, amen. Pag tinamahan po, amen, ng salita ng Panginoon, magbago na. Lord, we easily forget. We easily forget. How not, nothing is the achievement of man. It's just like a flower. Sabi niya, no? The wind blows over it and it is gone. 
and it plays and its place remembers it no more ganun kadali ganun ka iksi hallelujah how that's how uh, how how even the 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 highest achievement oh man it's 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 nothing hallelujah and as i have said folks si kung sinulat ito ni david in his later years he was a successful king he was the one who was um who who um siya yung na successfully um, built the nation amen but he look at how he said he look at how he how he look at how he looked his life amen how nothing is his life without god kaya nga it it is good to remember kaya mag verse 17 maganda no but from everlasting is to everlasting Ganon ka iksi ang buhay ng tao. That's how nothing is the achievement of man. But, from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear Him. Amen. And His righteousness with their children's children. Those who fear the Lord, His love is everlasting to everlasting. Parang double eternity, no? Eh, parang double eternity, Pastor. Eh, pagkatapos ng isang eternity, susunod, eternity pa rin. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ganon katindi ang binigay ni Lord, no? From everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is those with those who fear Him. Hallelujah. Kaya po, napaka walang kwenta pala ang buhay pag wala si Lord. Uh, we visited, um, ano ba yung unang ginisit natin, honey? Creation. Museum. Creation Museum. And the moment we got in, uh, it stimulated the mind of <laughs> of, uh, of our daughter and my firstborn son. And kasi nandun yung kinontrast doon yung uh, world's view at saka the word's view. The word ni Lord. The view according to God's word and the view according to the world. Sa, world pa, sa, sa worldly view po, walang justice walang uh, walang righteousness uh, suffering is just part of life in 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 i think my daughter don't kaagad siya it dawned on her like what without that's that that that's that's hopeless <laughs> sabi niya ganun and it it, it 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 stimulated her mind like wow ganun pala katindi pag wala si lord nothing it's nothing it's hopeless but yet in the other side for those who fear the lord from everlasting to everlasting grabe yung hope na nibigay ni lord no hallelujah the lord's love is for those who fear him kaya sabi nga ni peter praise the lord because of the resurrection of the lord jesus christ he gave us uh, the, a, a new living hope a new life our, our inheritance na hindi that nothing it's untouchable nothing can take it away nothing can can blemish it it doesn't rot it doesn't end it is um uh, secured by the power of god wow hallelujah and david says from everlasting to everlasting his love uh, is with those who fear him and his righteousness amen with their children's children those who fear the Lord. Kasi yung, if you fear the Lord or revere, hindi yung fear na uh, uh, yung takot, kundi yung to, to, to revere Him, to, to bow down before Him. That's the word fear here. Um, those who, it, it, that means to those who belong to God, who obeys His word. Hallelujah. Ganun katindi. Love ni Lord. No? It doesn't end from everlasting to everlasting hallelujah and his righteousness with their children's children okay if we want po to teach if you want to let your children live in the righteousness of god start with the lord amen when we fear the lord and obey his command and live live according to his will and according to his word hallelujah yun po ang sinabi sa deuteronomy chapter 6 impress them on your children Hallelujah. And so that they too will live in the righteousness of the Lord. With 
Amen. Verse 18, with those who keep His covenant are remembered to obey His precepts. So, verse 17 and 18, no? But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear Him and His righteousness with their children's children, with those who keep His command covenant and remember to obey His precepts. From everlasting to everlasting. Ganun ang pagmamahal ng Panginoon. And from verse... And, and, And verse 19 also, it tells us that the Lord has established His throne in heaven and His kingdom rules over all. Mga kapatid, the Lord established His throne in heaven. It is beyond the rich. It is beyond decay. It's beyond the, the rich of the, of, our, of the enemy. It is established. It is rooted. It is forever. Amen. Untouchable. Um, uncontainable, ano pa ba mga uh, idagdag nyo pa lahat, right? The rulership of God is forever. Hallelujah. And His kingdom rules over all. And before David end um, his song, kasama pa yung inimbita pa niya, no? Praise the Lord, you, eh, who you is His angels, you mighty ones. Amen. Who, who do His bidding, who obey His word. Praise the Lord, all His heavenly host. You, His servants, who do, who do His will. Praise the Lord, all His works everywhere in His dominion. Pa, uh, hindi lang sinabi ni David, Bless the Lord, praise the Lord of my soul. No? Parang inibitahan pa niya lahat. <laughs> His heart is so filled with the praise and, the, of, and, the, uh, and, and worship to the Lord. Hallelujah. Naturally po, of course, the, the heavenlies uh, and, and the angels uh, in heaven worship the Lord. Amen. And not, not only that, he said all his works everywhere in his dominion. Um, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. But before he ends, but the very last line po ni David, bumalik siya sa sarili niya. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Hallelujah. And I believe, brothers and sisters in the Lord, as we celebrate this week with thanksgiving, the moment we keep being... Be, kaya nga, napakasarap po pala. That's why now we... I understand, I understand it even more. Sabi ni Lord, man does not, does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Because the moment we study His word, we remember who He is and remember what He has done. Katulad kay David, kapatid. When he remember the mercy of God, the forgiveness of God, amen? How the Lord has forgiven all our sin, heals our diseases, redeems our life from the pit, crowns us with love and compassion, satisfies our desire with his good things, amen? And in, in, from everlasting to everlasting, ganun tayo kamahal ni Lord. And as far as from the east and the west, That's how far He removed our sins, amen, from uh, our sins away. And as far as the heavens and from the earth, that's how He loved us. I don't know, kapatid. If you don't praise the Lord, then you probably don't understand sure. how the magnitude of God's love, amen, and God's forgiveness. If we truly understand that sin has cut us off from God, but because of your mercy, we are being healed. Oh, that alone. is enough. Amen. Pero hindi lang yun ang binigay ni Lord sa atin. Plus, napakarami pa. The moment we remember that, I believe, we will, uh, we will, we will, we will, <laughs> we will remember. We will remember. Amen. And we will, I believe we will all say like David, praise the Lord, O my soul. Amen. Hallelujah. And tonight, I hope, mga kapatid, that we will live in thanksgiving because of what the Lord has done to us. Hallelujah. Hanggang dito lang po, and we will see each other again. Amen. And may this be the, the cry of our hearts, mga kapatid. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and all my inmost being. Praise His holy name. Hallelujah. And And we remember every day, every moment, lagi po natin gunita. Hallelujah. 
the benefits the benefits that we receive from the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Indeed, Panginoon, maraming, pas- maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, that tonight you have reminded us how awesome, Lord, is your forgiveness. Lord, we are dirty sinners. We, we are, Lord, we, we, we do not deserve, oh God, um, the compassion, but indeed, Lord, you you. Your mercy is everlasting. Your, your mercy is new. Your grace is new every day. You showered us, Lord. You crown. You even you, you even promised, Lord. You you, cro- you even said, Lord, that you crown us with loving kindness, with and compassion. Oh God, Hallelujah. Oh God, help us to remember this every day, and so that Lord, we like David. Oh God, we will say it. Oh God. We will burst in joy. We will burst in thanksgiving, O oh God. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Hallelujah. All my inmost being, praise His holy name. Indeed, O oh God, you alone deserve the, all the glory and all the honor, Panginoon. Hallelujah. And may this Thanksgiving week, Lord, ito lagi, hindi lang Thanksgiving week, Lord, hindi mag- magiging Thanksgiving day every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, and we thank you, Lord, for this mercy, O oh God, for this love, O oh God. O oh God, as high as the heavens as from the earth, that's how you love us. O oh God, how amazing. Hallelujah is, is your love for us, O oh God. Hallelujah. And we continue, Lord, to pray. Uh, especially, Lord, begin with our family, O oh God. Na malaman din po nila, Panginoon, the, the secret of the joy, O oh God, the secret of, of a heart, O oh God, that bursting in gratitude, O oh God, hallelujah, is to know what the Lord has done and to receive God's uh, forgiveness and, for, and God's salvation, God's redemption. Hallelujah. We pray for, our, for every family, O oh God. Lord, let this year be a harvest year for every family. We pray for every uh, um, household, Panginoon. Hallelujah, Lord. We pray for every husband that's not saved yet or a wife or a children. Or, 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 or child, no God, or uh, um, um, mga kamag-anak, Panginoon, na hindi pa na-save, oh God. We pray, Lord, that it will be a harvest year, Panginoon. Help us, Lord, to declare this awesome gift, of oh God, yeah. of redemption, of salvation, oh God, to others, oh God. Begin with our Jerusalem, oh God. Hallelujah. And to others, Lord, that doesn't know you, that don't have uh, this... Um, relationship with you yet. Lord, salamat for reminding us tonight. Hallelujah. And we know, Lord, kung gugunitain namin palagi araw-araw ang ginawa mo, Panginoon, we will end up like David. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and all my inmost being. Praise His holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gather your family and pray together. Amen. May this Thanksgiving week remind us of the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See you again uh, next Friday or this Sunday. Hallelujah. Amen. In person. Hallelujah. In person. <laughs> In person. Dino po online. Hallelujah. See, see you on Sunday. God bless you. Hallelujah. Happy Thanksgiving week to all. God bless us all.